wait, no. Okay, we have red. That's Sora. I got blue. That's Donald. Will it be green? Will it be goofy green? All right, back at it. The shape of peace. Wiklamat thinks it's time to gather her allies for the road ahead. I still haven't had one bite of Namaka's food thanks to Papa's nonsense, so I'm going back to finish my plate before I head out. I've otherwise asked everyone to meet at the Furad cabins. Come and join us after you've had a moment to recover, eh? Yeah, I didn't get a chance to recover anything. I just, woo, yeet myself into a fight. Damn it, Papa. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. But also... <gasps> Ooh, wait, there's a second floor! Okay, I'm curious. Curiosity. I'm not a cat. I'll be fine. What's up here? Oh, there's gotta be something that will happen up here eventually. This is too grand. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. Whee! It's fine. It's fine. Where is my cabins? Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Till the end of time. You know, I've I've heard the same melodies in a lot of the songs. Because that little melody is also in the Inwalker song. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Is that what it is? You're all set... Uh, is that it? Are you all set to go? I left the Eorzea prepared to travel in search of work, so I had few belongings to begin with. Bidding farewell to my fellow artisans took a r rather a lot of time, however. Again, I appreciate you making this commitment for Jinten. I still have no idea how to pronounce half the names, but it's fine. Shall we depart for Earthenshire, then? A word before you go. Wookieboo, what are you doing here? I... I spend my days correcting manners, and... Here I am perpetuating the grave offense of delaying the third promised departure. <laughs> Please take off your axe and rid my flesh with the taco meat. Must your demands be so gruesome? Besides, I told you that kind of thing doesn't bother me. Alright then, I won't let it bother me either. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? I love this guy. We must protect him at all costs. I came to the city to purchase supplies when I spotted your entourage getting ready to leave. You seek the city of gold, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. That's right. It's the final step of the right of secession. If you know anything about this subject, I'd love to hear it. Then allow me to be of service. As you know, legends of the Golden City have been passed down in Tural for a thousand years. Yet, when it comes to describing the place itself, the stories do not always agree. Some portray it as one money expect, a glittering metropolis of golden towers. Others suggest it's more unassuming and owes the name to the fabulous treasure hidden within it at its heart. Telling Every telling, however, has a common thread. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. Oh, I will return. And I will find that Golden City. Because Hades bid me do it. And I am going to do it. I'm going to do it! The lesson to be learned from this third promise is to seek the legend is to court death. I've already done that. It's fine. 
I must implore you to proceed with the utmost care. That is all I wish to say. I pray for your safe journey. Thank you, Lucky Wolf. I court death all the time. It is fine. I've died multiple times. I've died almost completely. I face the end of the world. It's fine. What's a little golden city gonna do to me? What are we to make of these cautionary tales? If every expedition has an ended in tragedy, then how did the Dawn Servant find the city and return without incident? See, you see, therein lies the question. He finds the city, but he doesn't go into the city. Finding is different from going into it. It seems the legend originated with the Yolk here. Speaking with them remains our strongest lead, I feel. A lead we shall follow in time, but first let us see Fogatine safely to the Moblin's care. Till the end of time. I am loving the music so much. Once I get paid, I think I'll buy myself some tacos. Also gotta help my sister. Um... This is new training for work. Um, trying to move again. So, there's all that. Yay! Meanwhile, in Kazumaki. I think that's how to. So, what the fuck is. Oh, first. Finding a willing artisan was even easier than expected. Many indeed are eager to curry favor with the resilient son. Especially if it means sharing the promise of new territories. Those who prove useful will have all the land they desire. I don't like this. Oh, such generous words, yet the manner in which he speaks them. I if don't no territory are of value. Wherefore does he seek to bring the world to heal? Dude, my question is is this are is he, is he being used? I feel like I feel like these two are being used somehow. Like the first and then the the two head. Step aside. Uh These two are problems. There was no rule against poaching craftsmen from other claimants. Was there? Oh, joy. Do not be foolish, Bakul Jaja. <laughs> I think you're both fools. Foolish would be carrying on with these dull feats when all I need to win are the keystones. And besides, it's long past time I humble this arrogant one head. Oh, joy. The Don Serrant may have sired you against all odds, but there is nothing blessed about your birth. Only a two head is fit to rule. Only we are worthy. Draw your weapon. Face me in battle. And learn your place. Are we gonna get to play us? Oh! A moment, first promise. Leave him alive if you would. I foresee a use for this nuisance. Bruh. Too scared to make the first move. Then allow me. Oh! All you needed was the hilt. Okay, the dude's not as strong as we think. Okay, I guess it's the first we gotta worry about the most. Of the two idiots. <laughs> okay. Worry about the first. And then this guy's just easy. No, no, no. He, he just he just looks small. Have you ever seen a Lollafell? Hmm. 
My thanks for your restraint. More afraid of the first. It'll be easy to crush the two heads for the tacos. Medic, please. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> Your part in this is far from over. Oh, man. So when are we fighting the first? I, I like, get more villain vibes from him than I do this comedy villain. It's like, the two-head is, like, Maleficent. And the first is, like, Xehanort. It'll be fine. We're back, and we brought with us a willing pot sworn. This is Forgington, a talented goldsmith who once worked at Ishtimin's aesthetic in Wulda. Wonderful, impressive. You are first to return, Third Promise. And with an artisan from across the salt, no less, we welcome you and your unique skill to Earthenshire. Helpan will show you where they work to the work pot. This is it then. I look forward to hearing you proclaim Dawn Servant. Thank you, Forjim. I will be sure not to disappoint you. You have reached, met the requirements of Feed of Pots. Rick Direct presents you your keystone with joy smiles and well wishing. <gasps> it's blue! Huh. The others have been red. So, will the others be yellow? Or will they be green? That makes three. Oh, wait, no. Okay, we have red. That's Sora. I got blue. That's Donald. Will it be green? Will it be goofy green? Pish pop. More pot sworn candidates? Come, come, tell Rook Direct of your tales. I'm wondering, will the last two be green? Because we got the Trinity colors going on right now. I thought they were all going to be red, but we got two red. We're probably going to get two blue. Maybe too green. Another feat accomplished, another keystone acquired. Oh ho ho! You are doing well. I expect nothing less of Javralja's esteemed siblings. Your cleverness in particular is most admirable, second promise. We much. No, why does it have to be his song? We must have you apply that Charlian knowledge you so cherish and arm Toral with weapons of Magitech design. In your role as the new Don Servant Chief Advisor, of course. I hate that guy. The tools of war hold no interest for me. I wish only to improve our nation through practical innovations. Foreign powers will think twice about testing a thing of Tuliola is known for its advanced technology. Just as the Garlean Empire was deterred from invading Charlian. That may well be true, but how long will it take for Tuliola to progress to this advanced state? How many years? With a collective commitment to education and hard work, it should not take so very... Your way is too slow. Easier to expand our territory and swallow Charlie and whole. Conquer other nations through force of arms and you're looking for a future of uprisings and bloodshed. Yours wouldn't be the first failed empire. Oh yeah, take that with experience. 
Then we keep fighting until the mountain costs convince them to lay their weapons until all have grown tired of a loss. Bro! Why would you do that? Emmett literally built his empire so it would fall that way. How would such an outcome bring anyone joy? What you propose is a mockery of peace. Pish poff. Redirect is reminded of days long ago. In the time before Tuliela, there were no pot packs for pot sworn. It was normal for grab snatch artisans and force them to work for mobbies. Until the day Gulu, Gulu Jaja arrived, the families of the grab snatch pleaded with him, and so he came to Earthenshire. Mobbies are not a war make people. We fear death and had to come for us, but Gulu Jaja just wanted to talk. Be at ease. We are here to trade words, not blows. The gold work crafted in this village is superb. One can tell at a glance the quality of materials used, the mastery of technique employed. Yet it does not stir the heart. A goblet shaped by bound hands and broken spirit is devoid of luster. Compare that now to the work of a joyful artisan. She pours her very soul into her creations and they shine like newly risen sun. Have you not seen this to be true? And so began the custom of good living. Happy pot swarm make good work. And good works make movies happy. Gulu Jaja's words were wise. Joy Smiles did indeed bring fine craft and much jingle shine. So, the head of reason was behind the forging of pot packs. Yes, reason and clever sh change Mobby's way of life. Hmm. You're just mad because you're wrong. The first promise tires of your talk of olden days. You'd rather look to the future and the next feat. Be gone, you foul bastards! I do not like you. I do not like you. I think you would be the first I'd want to smack with a hammer. Let me get my Pictomancer hammer. Bap, bap, bap. We should be getting on as well. Okay, I love the Pictomancer hammer too much. And I will see about which classes I use for the roll quests. I'll probably put roll quests off for a bit. I'd rather do all the roll quests at about the same time anyway. Buku Jaja never did come back, did he? Oh no. Pish puff. Do you have a moment, Third Promise? Ruck Ruck would repay you for helping him with Kahi. He brings a tale of the Golden City. <gasps> More information! Really? I would love to hear it. The towers, the streets, all fashioned from gold. Everywhere you look, every splendor you can imagine. The young, the old, everyone in between, they live in golden happiness. A city of eternal bliss forever perched above the clouds. Huh? Everything fashioned from gold, eh? And just imagine everyone living in golden happiness. Now that's a city I'd like to visit. Excuse me, Rock Rock, where did you hear that particular tale? From our longtime Yokyu friends. They live up in the mountains in Yokpacha. The giants again. Seems everything is pointing their way. This feat and everything leading up to it has taught me much about the bubbling way of life. I'll be sad to leave Earth and Shire and your choice files behind.
Ren tells me that Jervalja is a, even a claimant in the first place. Surely his father cannot condone his violent ambitions. Nope. The head of reason in Rukhtarek's story sounds so different from the head of Resolve. They share the same body, yet their personalities are wholly distinct. Well, yeah, makes sense. One's reasonable, one wants to smack everything with a hammer. The stories described a place of boundless happiness, but are also rife with dire warnings of seekers who did not return. What are we to make of this? These tales raise many questions. Let's hope the giants have answers. Hopefully. Right. We should go and see the giants next. Agreed. Golden Mysteries notwithstanding, their village is featured prominently in the saga and is not to be ignored. The Ukupacha Highlands should be easy enough to reach from here. If we leave Earthenshire from the west, there's a road which leads up into the mountains. Let's find that first. Okay, let's go. I think I have this ether right. Let me make sure. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I can be right next to it and I still have to pay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I jump? Oh, here we go. There they are. The highlands are where the lay of proof took place. That being Gulja Jaja's encounter with the Yolk Hyu. But it's also the stage for the lay of ice where the heroes fought the monstrous Valley Garmanda. I am most curious to know what the right will demand of us there. One day we are sailing up rivers and the next we are hiking up mountains. This road will take us through the mountains to the Yukpacha Highlands. An exhausting route perhaps, but a straightforward one. Nope, nope. Carby, I need you to scooch. You are to meet with the Yokyu at last. Looks like the trail is going to get steep from here on. I hope everyone's ready for some climbing. Third promise. I'm glad to have caught you. Ludovic asked me to bring you back to the village. What the frick happened? She says there's something she forgot to give you. Huh? Something other than the keystone? Yes, an item of great importance or so I was told. It shouldn't take long if you would please follow me. This is sus. I, uh, I wonder what this is all about. Well, no need for everyone to come. I'll be back in a little while. No, Wicklemat, don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Come back. Let us, no, no. That's sus. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. He had a rather interesting hair for here. Or should you say... Uh, Tonawata? In any case, uh, strange that I never noticed him while we were in Earthenshire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Knowing Wiggleman, she's probably eating sweets behind our backs and forgot to pay the shopkeeper something equally careless. That man seems familiar somehow, but I just can't place him. I'm eager to continue to the highlands and meet the Yolkyu face to face. We've heard much about them, but I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Yeah, and I'm very concerned for Wooklamat right now. The idea is just going to be very, very angry at me. This is taking quite a while. Just keep waiting for now, I suppose. Anything to change? Nope.
Perhaps there were complications. Well, let us wait a little longer. Okay, keep... Um... Okay. I'm just checking. As long as I check with at least one of them. This is sus. I do not like this. It's night. We've been sitting here forever. This is getting a little ridiculous. Did she get lost on the way back? There's no way! We're literally able to see the city from here! But how? There's only one road. I wouldn't underestimate Wuklamat's sense of direction or lack thereof. Fortunately, she has a link pearl. Let's see what's keeping her, shall we? I knew it. That's even more sus. She's not responding. Perhaps we should all return to Earthenshire. We should have done that before. We should have just followed her. Tits was redirect to had business with her, yes? Maybe we should redirect our attention to that here. He is definitely not a hero. Oh, what am I doing? I just accidentally healed myself, but it's fine. I pushed the wrong button. More or less, I just forgot to push control and the right button. I pushed the right button, I just forgot to hit control. Tis such sorrow. I thought Wiklamat was just being her usual impulsive self, but now I'm not so certain. She doesn't seem to be here. Something's not right. I can feel it. Oh, you're only just now feeling it. I felt it before. I pray not on toward had befallen the third promise. Fish puff back again so soon? We come looking for Wigglemad. Did you not send someone to fetch her? Redirect did not. Neither has she seen the third promise since you were last here. I knew it. Then who was that man who came for her? Oh, I thought you left already. We did! Um... But we kind of lost uh, a certain cat. Where is Lamati? Is she not with you? Okay, so she may have been catnapped. There's a cat burglar. So you might want to be careful too. You don't know where she is? How can you let this happen? I mean, I kind of knew it. That thou shalt worry for thy sister is understandable, yet rather than assign blame, thine energies are better spent on locating her. Yeah. I will help you search. This is not how I wish a fellow claimant to lose the contest. My sister, least of all. In that case, dividing our forces will allow us to cover more ground. Does that mean I get tankered back? Find her and I shall work together at least. The better to facilitate communication between our groups. Then the rest of us will split up report in should you find anything. Yeah, I get to work with a cat boy! Yeah! I always get stuck with the cats. Meow. How about that? We'll be on our way as well. Right, keep in touch. <sighs> Come, we should begin our search. Yeah, we should. I already knew something. I had sus. I was sus. I was absolutely sus. Something was so wrong. I was like, there is no way. No f***ing way that we are needed again. That soon. Let's find our cat. Someone print posters up, please. <laughs> 